Here at Fox 26, we are continuing our month-long effort to shine a light on the disturbing industry of human trafficking. Tonight, we take a deeper look at child sex trafficking, how it starts, warning signs to look out for, and also what can be done to prevent it. You know, I really thought human trafficking happened in poor countries. Mm. You know, I, I never imagined it first of all happening to my child. Robin Corey knows firsthand the impact of child sex trafficking. There was paid recruiters in her high school. Robin claims her 15 year old daughter Kristen Galvan was recruited and introduced to 22 year old Arian Jackson who Galvan believed was her boyfriend. Kristen disappeared for a short time in November of 2019 and when her mom got her back she says her daughter just wasn't the same. When we got Kristen back, the light from my daughter's eyes was gone. Kristen would scream, you don't know what they made me do. She would wake up in the middle of the night, couldn't sleep, screaming, night sweats, scared that they were gonna come and hurt us, her family, because she said they had pictures of all of us. Mm -hmm. And uh, she said she had to go back to them or they would kill us all. January 2nd of 2020, one day after getting her phone back, Kristen vanished never to be seen again. In February of 2023, Arian Jackson, the trafficker who Kristen called her boyfriend, was convicted and sentenced to 27 years in prison for sex trafficking Kristen and other minors. Jackson's mother is also facing sex trafficking charges. Child sex trafficking has many faces. As much as, you know, we're fearful of strangers, we also have to keep in mind that it can be very close to home. Caroline Roberts is a senior staff attorney with Children at Risk. She leads the nonprofit's human trafficking initiative. In a lot of cases, the child is still at home living with their parents. Um, and uh, in some cases, they may even be trafficked by their parents or other family members. It could also be, you know, a coach or uh, a close family friend. Houston is one of the main hubs for sex trafficking in the United States, and research shows at least 80,000 of those victims are minors. Um, children who run away are at high risk of being trafficked. Um, children who are involved in the foster care system or the juvenile justice system. Parents need to watch for signs of, of the whole grooming process, different acts in their behavior because, you know, looking back, Kristen had all the signs of the grooming. She started becoming distant from our family, not as enthusiastic about, you know, going camping or going to the movies with the family or going to her brother's baseball games. Um, and then started, I, I caught her, you know, smoking the marijuana mm -hmm. and she began to skip classes and Kristen, Kristen's gifted and talented and she never skipped class ever. And Robert says it's not just parents who need to watch out for the signs. Teachers, doctors, airline workers and everyday employees and people just need to know what sex trafficking looks like and how to stop it. And then if you do have uh, a minute alone with someone, you might just ask them if they need any help and keeping it very general. Something that's very important is that you don't um, confront the trafficker. If you think someone is a victim of sex trafficking, gather as much information as you can without putting yourself or the victim in greater danger and call your local police station immediately. The National Human Trafficking Hotline is a 24-hour resource that you can call with questions and concerns. As we continue our month-long Fox 26 in Focus series, People for Sale. Tonight we look at another myth that some teens get involved in the sex trade because they have loose morals. The reality is no one grows up saying they want to be a prostitute. And anyone involved in selling sexual services who is under the age of 18 is a victim of sex trafficking under U.S. law. Many believe they have no other choice but to enter the sex trade because they've been told that by someone they trust. And a reminder tonight, if you or someone you know is a victim of human trafficking, contact the National Human Trafficking Hotline. The number on your screen, 1-888-373-7888. Or you can text HELP or INFO to 233-733. The hotline is open 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, in more than 200 languages.